One of the biggest things going on right now in the Fannie Willis case is Fannie Willis illegally in Maryland tape one of Trump's lawyers and the whole entire phone call. It's super illegal, and Fannie Willis is now accused of a felony that may be tossing the Georgia election case. It's big, right? You got a whole felony now being developed for this woman, and it's not looking good at all. There's more and more stuff being added to it. We also have Nathan Wade, the former special prosecutor who was hired by the Fulton County District Attorney Fannie Willis. He is having an affair and is accused of contempt of court by his ex-wife in a new divorce filing. Seems like more and more things are being unearthed about the special prosecutor here. And Nathan Wade is already fired right now. There's also talks about how there was a lot of misuse of federal funds like vacation, 700K. His salary was incredibly high compared to the other guys in her workforce. So what is Fannie Willis do right now? It's not looking great. You have stuff being unearthed. Okay, just this alone, in fact, of misuse of federal funds and also a special relationship should get her kicked out. But for some reason, she's still in this Trump Rico case. But now you also have her recording and taping what other people are saying on the phone call. Felony charge right there. That's number two. And also the empty ballots. Guys, this is a really, really serious issue because you have the Fulton County Registrations and Election Board. If you look into what's really happening... There is no signature verifications. There's almost 150,000 ballots. And by law, these are all invalid. People are saying that Fannie Willis should just drop this case and start investigating these allegations because this is not looking good for Fulton County at all. They've violated a bunch of different rights act and Harrison Floyd is also going crazy. Fannie Willis just got notice and um, hey, she's gonna have to exit herself from the Trump case or face jail time. If you check out what Harrison Floyd is saying, he's saying that he doesn't want to put anyone in jail. But if Fannie Willis doesn't back down from this RICO case in Trump, he has no other choice than to pursue all lawful remedies. He says, make Fulton great again. Now, here's the thing with this whole situation. Fannie Willis right now has a lot of evidence and a lot of proof dumped on her. And there could be a ton of different side trials just branching out from this. And right now, Fannie Willis is not looking good. And people are also saying if this was any other person, they would have easily been kicked out of the case. But Fannie Willis is on it for some reason. There's also a lot of talks about Fannie Willis potentially doing even more crazy stuff. Like, for example, maybe there's even more situations of misuse and inappropriate use of funds. There's even her filing a whistleblower. And that was all taped in a phone call. So you have, like, whistleblower stuff, her firing people, Relationship with Nathan Wade, he have 700K and misused federal funds, just a lot of things. These are all things that are piling up for the Fannie Willis case, which is going to probably get her kicked out. Right now, Judge McAfee is probably over the weekend looking through all the different things. He also recently approved an appeal from the Trump team. So that's another great thing for Donald Trump right there. But as you can see, there's a lot of things piling onto her that is making her more and more guilty. I mean, forget about the Trump case right now. There seems to be so much stuff on Fannie Willis. Makes the Trump Rico case feel boring. And even been caught on tape admitting to firing whistleblower. Dude, this is just a big deal right now. And who knows? Maybe more people might come out speaking up and talk about what's happened to Fannie Willis. By the way, Fulton County elections are coming up anyway. And we're seeing new candidates involved. Many of these candidates want Fannie Willis's place. So Fannie Willis right now is not getting any sort of voter confidence. Many people on X are not on the side of Fannie Willis. Many of them are on the side of Trump, which is really funny. So let's see what happens. Comment below. Do you guys think Fannie Willis is guilty? Well, a lot of people are saying, many celebrity investors, many guys on X are all saying Fannie Willis has so much stuff stacked on top of her. It's not even funny right now. See you guys later.